Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. Today we are testing, another free antivirus application against the latest malware samples. In today's scan, we are testing Kaspersky Security Cloud free against the latest malware sample. Kaspersky Lab is a multinational cybersecurity and antivirus provider headquartered in Moscow, Russia and operated by a holding company in the United Kingdom. For Kaspersky Security Cloud, you have to log in with your mail ID, without login any of Kaspersky services will not work. Once you log in, it will provide you with a one-year subscription for free. If you don't have an account, it will create it for you. They provide you with the top-rated antivirus software and malware protection. Get what you need to fight off viruses, worms, trojans, malware, ransomware and other hidden dangers. It's a sad fact that, sooner or later, malicious individuals will find a way to exploit almost any invention or new technology, in order to cause damage or generate revenues. So that you also need to be updated about your security in the internet world. As you can see, the update process has been automatically started after the activation completes. You can change it as per your requirement from manual to automatic. Until scan finishes let's check for other options. In privacy protection option Kaspersky provide you with the security for account check only. In account check, Kaspersky checks if her data become publicly accessible. With the free version, webcam protection and private browsing not included. Mobile protection option only shows you, QR code for scanning in the mobile device to download Kaspersky application in mobile. A secure connection will allow you to use Kaspersky VPN service. This will automatically install along with Kaspersky Security Cloud at the time of installation. Secure Connection VPN provide you free service up to 200 megabytes only. In Scan option Full Scan, Quick Scan, Selective Scan and External Device Scan options are available. You can also schedule your scan as per your requirement as well. Let's check for settings. In general settings, you can set the default action, if any malware found. And tell whether you need to start application with computer start or not. But it is recommended that start antivirus app with computer startup. In protection settings, you can disable or enable the protection settings. Kaspersky offers various protections with the free version as File antivirus for scan all files that are open, saved or run. Web antivirus, to scan incoming web traffic and prevents the dangerous script from running on your computer. Account check, for the check, if her data become publicly accessible. Network attack blocker, to protects the computer against dangerous network activity and attacks. 
system watcher, to protects from ransomware and other crypto locker and rolls back changes in the system caused by activity of malicious programs. IM antivirus, to scans incoming and outgoing IM messages for malicious and phishing links. Mail antivirus, to scan incoming and outgoing messages for dangerous objects. In additional settings, you can get more features from Kaspersky, like on-screen keyboard, or to add or remove network port monitoring. Encrypted connection for SSL 2.0. Protection using hardware virtualization. And customize icons. Etc. The Kaspersky antivirus database is now updated with the latest definitions. First check for Windows Defender. If it is on, then turn it off but by default, it goes off after installation of Kaspersky. Let's pause the real-time protection, so that I can copy malware samples to desktop, for the scan. Now real-time protection for both the antiviruses is off. So let's extract malware sample zip file to the desktop. Let's start the scan. Kaspersky has started scan, but it is not showing real-time threat detection data on the screen during the scan. Let's pause the video until scan finishes. Welcome back again. The scan is about to finish. 
After the scan, we will check how many threats have been detected. Now the scan is completed. Let's check the result. 196 files have been detected as malicious out of 200 malware samples. And all of them have been quarantined without any error or warnings. Only 4 files have been left over after scan. Let's upload those files to virustotal.com site and check whether these files are malicious or not. First file was DLL file, it is detected by 41 antivirus engines including some well-known antivirus like, Avast, AVG, Bitdefender, Avira, Komodo, MZSoft etc. The second file was X file. It is detected by only 7 antivirus engines. Some of the well known antiviruses are Komodo and Dr. Web. Let's check one more last file by uploading it. This file was also application, X file, which is detected by 38 antivirus engines. Some of the well-known antivirus engines are Avast, AVG, Bitdefender, Avira, Komodo, MZSoft, McAfee etc. So what is the final conclusion about Kaspersky Security Cloud? The number of malware samples scanned is 200. The number of files detected as threats is 196. So the detection percentage is 98%. This is really good for any antivirus. I am trying to start the antivirus Windows Defender also, for double layer protection, but unable to do the same. As currently Kaspersky is installed and its protection is on, and it is preventing me to start the Windows Defender. Let's check the pros and cons of Kaspersky. Please check the below description for antivirus download link and information about the virus. Do not forget to like videos and subscribe our channel NB Infotech. 
If you like this video, then comment on your response and click like button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.